There are people in this chamber tonight who valiantly fought to preserve the battlefield site at Moore Street. In doing so, it's your tribute to you is that very shortly there will be an interpretive centre there that once again captures that proud parts of our history of when we are valiant. I think it's extraordinarily cowardice to not acknowledge the period of our history when it wasn't. There's a reason why that interpretive centre and that battlefield site won't be contained within the shopping centre as was originally proposed. There's a reason we're not putting IMAX cinemas in Kamenum jails and spars in the GPOs because the history is more important than that. Lord Mayor, in the preservation of ethical memory, you're, you've rightly been to the forefront of critique and Glass and Evans Embry attempts to put a, a remembrance stone with black and tan soldiers alongside people who lost their lives to defend our freedoms. How then can we even countenance the prospect of having a memorial to women who were effectively enslaved in this city and forced to clean the laundry of this city contained with a hotel where once again women of low income will be expected to clean the bed sheets of wealthier citizens? That is a horrendous logic and one that I'm simply not going to stand for. As in the city, we're defined not only by what we commemorate, but by how we choose to commemorate it. That site on Sean McDermott Street is a battlefield site. A battlefield site of a cruel war of morality that was waged against people in this city from the foundation of our state. There is no finer example of the architecture of containment that blighted their, their country since foundation. If you want to get to the history of a gendered history, a social history, a cultural history, an ecclesiastical history of this city and our country, it's contained within those walls. To remove that now, to sell it off to private ownership, is to make ourselves complicit in once again diluting that narrative of incarceration and abuse that has plagued us. I won't be responsible for that, and I do not feel that this chamber should also be responsible for that. Tonight we get to take ownership of our history. Go on,